In this lesson, we're going to be setting up our Great Barrier Reef pull quote that lives in the animal life section on our infographic. Okay, so we're just going to be right here in this middle area. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just use one of the pull quotes that we already set up. So I'm going to select that whole bit so we've got the lower text box and also the text on top of it. And I'm just going to alt-drag that straight down there. And this top part, even though we've left aligned these other pieces, this is going to look better center aligned just because of the way that it's going to be working with this piece of text here. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my paragraph. We'll center that. And then let's go up to our align panel and make sure that we're aligning to artboard and we'll do a horizontal align center. Now this piece I'm going to go ahead and leave left aligned just because it's going to have a lot more copy in it here in a moment and it's going to be easier to read if it's left aligned. So let's go ahead and grab our text document and you can see that um, this area here is going to be the information that will have a graph that we'll have over on this side and then this is the graph that we'll have on this side here. But this area is going to be our text so that's going to be this part right here. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll select this first piece of text. I'll just hit control C to copy that and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it into that top area. So we'll hit control V and enter um, right there. So what I want this to do is kind of to again highlight that main part. So the Great Barrier Reef is the largest living organism on the entire planet. So largest living organism, the largest living organism is going to be what I use as my pull quote. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, probably change up the way that this looks just a bit as compared but it's still going to be based on the pull quotes we have up here at the top. So we'll go ahead and just come in there grab the largest living organism and I'm going to just cut that so hit control X and then I'm going to paste that over rainforests. And you can see that it lost kind of that style just because we pasted something that had already been styled. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that again. We'll grab our eyedropper tool and just eyedrop this piece and then make sure that's all center aligned together. And then on the entire planet, I'm going to cut. We'll just hit control X and then I'm going to paste that after um, the largest living organism. So now we kind of have this sort of a, a setup going and this is a little bit um, low here for me so I want to go ahead and we'll move that line on the entire planet up a little bit closer to the largest living organism. So go ahead and grab your character panel. We'll just pull that right up there. Okay so this is looking pretty good so far. Now one of the problems even though this has been um, center aligned because of how far this is tracked out this line at the top does not appear to be centered in our column so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of alt arrow this over and really all it's doing is it's just looking at um, that space and it's giving that space after the S so now we've kind of nudged that over that looks a lot better and We'll go ahead now and set up the rest of this text we have here at the bottom. So that's going to be this area right here. So we'll just grab that, hit Control C, and then I'm just going to double click in here and hit Control V to paste. And again, this is already going to be set up the way that we want it to at 10 over 12. So that's perfect. We probably need to move this up just a little bit more to make that fit just a little bit better right there and then we can drag that up so that that's not sitting underneath that line and I'll just drag that line up so that's right at the top and now we have that pull quote set up so if you want to you could come over to your layers panel um, maybe turn off the eyeball for your guides for a moment just so you can see kind of what that looks like by itself so you can definitely see the resemblance um, that this is being based on this piece up here um, just have a little bit of a variation with the way that on the entire planet has been written out and then later on we'll add some more things in these columns um, just to make the whole thing feel a little more fleshed out. Now in our next lesson we have another 
pull quote style, um, but it's going to be set up a lot differently um, than what we have done so far. So it's not going to be kind of set up like this. It has something to do with this bit of text here. So it's part of that shift in tone um, and it's actually going to be what comes right before that. And we'll just set it up right here, um, just right on the white part of our image here. So we're going to talk about how we will do that and set all of that text in our next lesson.